M302. And we will be performing the, an excerpt from the proposal by Anton Chekhov. Thank you. Thank you. Who is this I see? Ivan Vasilvich, so good to see you. How are you? Thank you, and how are you? Oh, so, so, my friend. Please, sit down. <laughs> now, are you off to some engagement, my good fellow? I have no engagement, except with you, Stepanovich. <laughs> <laughs> but why in evening clothes, my friend? Well, you see, it's simply this, that I have come to you with a request. It is not the first time I've had the honor of turning to you for assistance. I beg your pardon, I'm a bit excited. I'll take a drink of water. You see, I mean, I'm terribly nervous, as you'll be so good to see. What I really mean to say is, you are the only one who can help me. I don't deserve it, and I have no right whatsoever to make this request of you. Oh, don't beat around the bush. Tell me. Uh, immediately. In a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I have come to ask for the hand of your daughter, Natalia Stepanova. I! Vin Vasilich! <laughs> Say that once again, I didn't quite hear it. I have the honor to beg. My dear man, I waited for this to happen for so long. <laughs> May God give you his blessings and his grace and... Why am I standing here like some blockhead? I'll go call Natalia. <laughs> May I hope for Natalia's acceptance? A fine man like you and you think she won't accept on the minute? Oh, my whole body's trembling. I'm so excited that my ears are roaring. I must live a well-regulated life. I have a weak heart and a continual palpitation. Ah, it is you. Good afternoon, Ivan. Uh, good day, my dear Natalia. What is it that you're here for? I'll try to be brief. Since my childhood, I've had the honor to know your family. The Lomovs and the Chubikovs have been on the friendliest, indeed the closest terms with each other. If my meadows could touch your Pardon horse, the horse. interruption, but you said my meadows. But are they yours? Yes, they belong to me. What nonsense, the meadows belong to us, not you. No, to me, now my dear. Well, that is certainly news to me. How do they belong to you? How? I was speaking of the meadows lying between your birch woods and my brick earth. Yes, exactly. They belong to us. You're mistaken, my dear Natalia. Try to remember exactly, Ivan Basilvich. <laughs> is it that you inherited them? Long ago, as far as back as I can remember, the meadows belong to us. Basilvich, you will pardon me, but I really can't believe my ears. Say what you will, but I cannot bear this injustice. Listen, I don't need the meadows. In fact, I accept them as a gift from me. But I can give them to you. You offer me my own land. In my opinion, that's a very low trick. The meadows are mine, you understand? Mine. You need to scream so. What is going on here? Mother, tell this gentleman <laughs> to whom the meadows belong to. The meadows belong to us. I will prove to you that they belong to me. Don't try and prove it. I will. My dear man, why are you screeching so? You can't prove anything by yelling, you know. <laughs> you think I'm a fool? You are making fun of me. You are no neighbor, Stepanovich. You are a land grubber. <laughs> what was that you said? Your family was <laughs> insane. Kindly of refrain from insulting my family. Oh, how Oh, my heart. Uh, uh, where's the door? I can't. My legs won't hold me. May you never darken my door again. And to think that this fool dares to make a proposal of marriage. What? A proposal of marriage? Why, yeah, yes, he Why didn't you tell me before? Bring him back. Bring whom back? Bring Ivan Vasilovich back. I'll shield myself. I'll hang myself. <laughs> Shooting. Oh, but did you hear? My dog, Bugatti, you know him? He limps. What a shame. Now, Atitai is truly better than Ugatti. Really? Atitai better than Ugatti? <laughs> what an idea. It is possible. Really? Ugatti is a dog, and Atitai is. It is laughable to argue about it. I've been Basil Fitch. You are very contrary today. First, you say our meadows belong to you, and now Ugatti's better than Atitai? I don't like it when a person doesn't say what he really thinks. What makes you talk such nonsense? It is not so. Well, has it begun again? 
Oh, my God.